Howdy folks, Nathan here. Hey, recently I had a chance to go to the Texas State Fair with Andre, and we have our top five trucks from that fair in this video. But first, a word from our sponsor. It took a while to get up here. We started out around 1959. But we didn't do all that just to get here. We did it to give you a truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan. Howdy folks, Nathan here with Andre behind the camera at the 2022 Texas State Fair. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about our top five vehicles at the fair. These are unique vehicles that are actually featured here. And say hi, Andre. Hey, dude. So let's start off with number five. And that brings us over to Ford. I'm sorry, let me say that in Texas. That brings us over to Ford. <laughs> Pretty good, right? I know, I'm getting better. Well, I wanted to introduce the Ford F250 6.7 liter Power Stroke Tremor. But there's more. Now this is a unique truck. And one of the reasons why is because Ford has done a lot of updates, but I don't think it shows as much as in this truck as it does in this truck over here. You see, this is Ford's Dually. Now this is an F450, so this is the big boy on the block. But Andre, show him what we got going on here because this is not a normal cab. And what I mean by normal is, <laughs> look at that, standard cab. It's a shorty. It is a shorty. This, I think, is one of the higher capacity dualies out there in terms of its configuration because there's so little weight by comparison, right? Basically, everything you need and nothing you don't for proper towing. But there's a lot of stuff that they've recently done that you could probably see on the Tremor and you can see here that has a lot of people from General Motors, specifically Chevy and General GMC, going, hmm, and that would be stuff like this. Yeah, the bed step right there. But it's a really see. good idea, so why yeah. not copy it, right? Well, yeah. But there's more good ideas that they've uh, borrowed, and <laughs> that would be here, right? The step in the, in the bumper. Well, now, that's important because you cannot open the tailgate when you're towing sometimes. Right. So that's good. So this actually allows you to get in. This allows you to get into the side. Both of them make a lot of sense. I'm really glad that they did that. But once again, I think a lot of people from other automakers will be going like, well, that's not original. Yeah, but so what? It works, right? So there's kind of the two sides to it. I wanted to show one more thing on the Tremor that I love. Look at these wheels. They might be some of the coolest wheels I've seen Ford come up with on a heavy duty truck. They're fantastic. New design and of course 35. So this is a freshly updated truck for 23. Right, you can really tell if you look at the front end too. Come over here, check out this design. It's a little bit polarizing because some people out there say it looks good and some people say eh. You know, I'd be a lot happier with it if it wasn't all chrome because I like off-roading but I don't like chrome and off-roading, right? So I would rather have something that's a little bit more steel and less chrome. But it's not bad looking, that's for sure. No, and I think that they have different options. So this is number five on our list, correct? It is number five on our list. Where do we go from here? Hmm, that's a good question. Number four on our list is this. Now this is a 433 horsepower V8 that puts out 467 pound-feet of torque. Why is that special? Because it's more than what you would normally get out of a Tahoe. This is a very special one because this is the Tahoe RST Performance Edition. So what elevates it? There's quite a bit. First of all, much larger Brembo brakes, front and rear. Red, bright red to see that you spent extra money. But it also means that it's enhanced the stopping distance of this vehicle. Now, essentially what you're looking at here is a combination of a few things. This essentially has the Pursuit Performance Package that's built for Tahoes for police departments so they handle better and they brake better. And that is essentially what is in here. So you do have a suspension upgrade, you do have a tire upgrade, you do have a brake upgrade. All of these things on top of the fact that it has this powerful engine means that you have one of the fastest Tahoes ever made. Uh, not to mention the fact that it looks pretty cool too in this setup, am I right, Andre? Yeah, I love it. And it looks like it has that sporty RST interior as well. Yeah, that's right. There are a couple upgrades to the RST. Remember, this is RST Performance Edition. So that is the top grade from there. Now, according to General Motors, 0 to 60 times, 5.78 seconds. <laughs> I mean, that's really fast, right? And it's not the supercharged V8 No, it's either. not a supercharged V8. It's not the Blackwing V8. It's not a turbocharged anything. This is a naturally aspirated powertrain. So there are a couple things, including the pedals over here, which are upgraded 
They're actual performance pedals, just not little pieces of aluminum that go over to kind of make it look cooler. So that is another thing. All in all though, this whole package is built specifically for performance to give you that upgrade. This will be in my book, the second best handling, second fastest version of a General Motors large SUV. I'm sure you can already guess what the top one is. What, what is it? The Cadillac, obviously. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. Number three on our list is actually a special version in my book of the Toyota Sequoia. And that's because this is the TRD Sport. Now the TRD Sport kind of sits in between a few things. I like value. And one of the things that this vehicle does is it actually takes it up from the base model, gives you a little bit of off-roading capability, plus a couple other goodies. And this amazing green in one package, far less expensive than, oh, I don't know, a Capstone or some of the other ones that are out there. So let's have a look at this truck. We're gonna have a look actually in the inside as well. So, by the way, if you hear some background noise that has to do with the fact that they are practicing for some games with the Texas State Fair, Toyota is not quiet about that. The interior may look very familiar to you and that is because it is very similar to the one that's in the Tundra, but it is still unique in its own way. And of course it has, look back there, third row seat. Oh yeah, it's pretty huge and it's also all hybrid all the time. Twin yeah. turbo V6, no matter, hybrid. Yeah, that's right. No matter which model you get, it's going to have the hybrid powertrain, which is a very brave and bold statement. But I think that's because that's the direction Toyota is going to go. They kind of lead the world when it comes to hybridization in terms of almost every vehicle they build now. So very interesting to see it on this truck, which is one of the reasons why I chose it. And also, honestly speaking, I actually like this truck more than the Tundra, don't tell anybody. Yeah, and it's also, they just announced, production has begun officially, and they're being delivered to dealers, and they're built right here in Texas. That's right, they're built basically on the same line, or a very similar line to the Tundra. So they're literally brother and sister sitting there next to each other as they're being built. Beautiful, so what's number two on our list? Oh, stay tuned and find out. Number two on our list is the Chevy Silverado ZR2 Bison. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, wait a minute, didn't you guys have a ZR2? Yes, you're right, but we did not have a Bison. And there are a few notable differences. Actually, even in the design, if you look at the front end, it's noticeably different. And it has, of course, the AEV bumper, sliders, rear bumper, and then you go up to a higher level when it comes to armor underneath. Now, more importantly, for those of you who are into video games, I like to think of this vehicle as proper Bison. So I think of Andre when I look at this. Really? Yeah, I really do. Yeah, M Bison. You, okay, never mind, Street Fighter. Uh, so anyway, let's go over here and have a look towards the back because there are a couple of things that I did notice I'm a little disturbed about. Now, notice that rear bumper. That is really built for off-roading, but you know what it's not built for? What? Feet. Oh, no, no feet uh, yeah, steps right there. I don't, I, I'm sure it's because of there's structural issues behind it and for off-roading and it's got those really big eye hooks right there, which look like they could hold something very, very heavy and solid. Or maybe they can lift it up on a um, helicopter and put it up there on a, on a building. How'd y'all get that Chevy on that roof? Was there a twister around here? It's pretty good Texan, right? I know, I know, I'm getting better. Okay, so that is, I think, a bit of a negative, but the rest of the truck is just remarkable and I am definitely looking forward to taking this off-road. So. Now that we've covered this, let's move on to the next one, which is number, Andre? Number one. Number one. And number one on our list is, of course, the, hey, Andre, Andre. What, what? what? No, we're doing that one, that's the Rebel, we do it later, it's a heavy duty one. Okay. That's on a different video, this is number one, and this is the Ram TRX, <laughs> but it's in Sandblast, which, some people love, like me, and then other people call it hearing aid beige, and that would be Ooh. Tommy. Oh, but that's what he does, he says that, because he's an angry young man. But I really do like this. The fact is, is that a lot of automakers are now adopting colors like this. Kind of a pastel palette on top of that. So it's kind of a military feel to it, but you have that in a package that puts out well over 700 horsepower. Thank God, the rest of this truck is pretty much the same. In fact, there have been no major uh, developments with this new 2023 model. Well, it doesn't other need than it, the color. Right? I mean, seriously, all you have is the color, and I think that's more than adequate for now, right? So, we thank you guys for joining us over at the Texas State Fair. 
there are a ton of videos that we have produced that are coming to you or already have arrived. So go to alltfl.com to check those out. Of course, you can go to tfltruck.com as well. But I just, let's, can you just take in the truck and feel the power? You know, you know what this looks to me like military, right? That's exactly kind what I was saying. Desert right. type military vehicle, big I, supercharged V8. I want to mount a 50 caliber or a howitzer in the back of this thing. Then again, it would kind of look like I'm someone else in another country, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. The whole point here is that this truck does look badass, and I think this color actually takes it up a notch. I am curious to see what other colors they come up with. And bear in mind that Ram actually has the most uh, unveilings and reveals at the Texas State Fair. There is a ton of vehicles that they uncovered, and once again, you could see those on our truck channel. Yeah, well, thank you for joining us for this top five. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're near Dallas, of course, come out here and check it out for yourself. Texas State Fair is pretty amazing, guys. We'll see you next time.